Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to extract um, elevation values from your digital elevation model, right? Good. Now, we are going to use two methods. Um, first off, let's try to import those um, points whose um, elevation value we want to extract from the digital elevation model, right? So we come down to files, we go to add data, then we go to um, add XY data. So we browse. Good. So we have done the folder connection and then we have what the dem data to be right. Good. We add and then we also add this. So the X field is what the longitude, the Y field is the latitude, right? Good. And then the CRS is um, WGS 1984, which is actually very important. Okay, good. So the points have been added, right? Good. So if you come up to the um, open attributes table, you are going to see the longitude and the latitude, and then you are going to see the shape, which shows that they are point features, right? Now, what we need is that we want to um, extract the elevation values of what points, these points that fall, the points that fall within what the digital elevation model. So we told you we are going to use two methods, the first of which Let's come to search windows, open up the search panel. Then um, let's search for extract values to points, right? Good. So we have um, So we are going to um, open up the first result here. Yeah? Good. Now, what does it do? It extracts the cell values of a raster based on a set of point features and records the values in the attributes table of an um, output um, feature class, right? Good. So um, the input point feature actually means defining the location from which you want to extract the what the raster cell values, right? Good. So that's what our that's the points and um, those are the points that um, we have um, imported right good then the input raster that's the raster from which what the elevation values will be extracted is what this um, digital elevation model we have here right good now the output um, feature class it has um, by default created what um, a directory where the output feature class will be if you would want to keep it there you can actually keep it there or you browse to what to change what the location right good then the next thing is what interpolate values at the point location right good now this is optional but when you read through the help you are going to see whether or not the interpolation will be used right good so if it is unchecked that means interpolation will be applied then the value of the cell center will be used this is the default however if it is checked the value of the cell will be calculated from the adjacent cells with so by the time you read through this, you are going to see what what it means. Similarly, if you want to append what all the input trust attributes to what the point features, right? Good. So we click on what. Okay. Extract values to points. Successful, right? Good. So we have what the extract underscore modified. So let's um, open up this. Um, attributes table now you are going to see the longitude the latitude the shape which these three fields were here earlier but we have gotten what the raster values now this raster values actually represent what the raster values that correspond with what this um, um longitude and the latitude right good and then these values are what the elevation values at those points these are the elevation values at those points right good so this is what the first method right good so we can actually look at the second method so um before we use the second option let us try to export this data to um, or as a shape file right good so we export data all features then the output um feature class let's browse good so let's call this um, instead of export output let's call this um, output the save as type and um, we are going to use the default shape file and then yes 
good so now what we are going to use for the second um, extraction is what this um, output right good so let me just put this out you know by default the both of them are the both of them are the same right good so um let's now search for add surface information right good so we have what add surface information similarly what does it do attributes feature with spatial information derived from a surface right good so it adds the attributes feature with them um, spatial information derived from a surface so the input will be what output right good <laughs> So the input will be what the output that um, we just exported so that will be this then the input surface will be our digital elevation model then the output properties will now be what z remember that um it is the the z value of what the surface right the surface z value interpolated for the x and y location of each what same um, single point feature right good so that's the same um, output properties a property rather we have z so for the method if you have different options you can actually use a drop down otherwise the bilinear has been what selected and if you read through what the description for each of the options or each of the methods rather you are going to see what they are we also have the sampling distance we have the z factor and then you know all other input parameters have been set right good so we click on ok good so the add surface information has been executed successfully right good so remember we said in this case it is being um appended on what the attributes table right good so let's um, open the attributes table you are now going to see what the shape the longitude latitude and what the z value right good so remember we checked them um, a column that has what z value which is what the z value so if you scroll through you are going to now see the elevation values of the corresponding what longitude and latitude that um, you have actually provided initially right good so we have shown you different methods we have shown you two methods on how to um, extract elevation values from your digital elevation model when you have a um, longitude and latitude of some point right good the last one is what they add them um, surface information however the first one was what um, extract values to points right good so the both of them have your z values um, extracted in one the z value is added as a new field to your attribute table however in the other you have what a new layer created that contains what your z value so thanks for coming to class we open we have provided solution to this particular gis or survey related problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time Bye.